In this section, we're going to look at scientific notations and problems involving units that require scientific notation. Basically, scientific notation is an easy way to write large and small numbers. For example, the first number is very, very small. It'd be very hard to continuously write this over and over. So a shorter way to write it is 1.2 times 10 to the negative ninth power. Multiplying by 10 moves the decimal. So this has the effect of moving the decimal to the proper number of, of places. In scientific typical notation, you always have one number before the decimal, and then whatever power of 10 is necessary to put the decimal in that position. Your calculator, however, will write it like this, 1.2e to the negative 9. It's a more abbreviated way to write the same thing. Second number I have here is very large, 45 million. 4.5 times 10 to the 9, actually 45 billion. 4.5 times 10 to the 10th power, or on your calculator, will be 4.5e to the 10th. Okay, now let's look at a kind of problem where scientific notation will come up. How long in seconds does it take the light to travel 12 feet from the lamp to my eyes when I flip the switch on? And the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. Okay, so we need to know the relationship distance equals rate times time. And that makes sense. For example, if you're driving 50 miles an hour and you did that for two hours, so your rate would be 50, your time would be two, and we all know you would drive 100 miles. So that same relationship will help us in a problem where we have different rates and times. So we have a distance of 12 feet and we have a rate of 186,000 miles per second. Now the first thing we notice is this is in miles and this is in feet. And we want these units to be in the same system. So we're going to convert the rate, 186,000 miles per second, to a rate in terms of feet per second. Okay, so the rate is 186,000 miles per second, and per, as we recall, is divided. So we go 186,000 miles in one second. In order to convert that, we want miles to go away. So we put miles on the bottom and feet on top. And there are 5,280 feet in one mile. So when we multiply, we can cancel these miles, and our answer will be left in feet per second. And it's going to be 982,080,000 feet per second. Okay, now, the traditional way to do this problem at this point would be to solve this relationship, time equals distance divided by rate, and, and solve it for time. So we have distance over rate. But another way we could look at this is we're given 12 feet, and we want to convert these feet to seconds. And we have the relationship that one second is the same as 982,080,000 feet. So I'm going to simply convert my 12 feet into seconds using the relationship we just found. So I put one second on top and 982 million feet on the bottom. And now the feet are canceled. And my answer will be in terms of seconds. And on the calculator, this will come up as 1.22 e to the negative 8 seconds. Or written out as a decimal then e to the negative 8 would move the decimal. Seven spots, or eight spots to the left, so around the 1 is 1, and seven zeros to get to the proper position. Tenth, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, one hundred millionth of a second. So that explains why you can't see the, the delay from flipping the switch. The light seems to be instantaneous. It's just far too short that we could ever see it.